Hi everyone, it's Kay and welcome back to another vlog which covers another set of stories for the month of March. The days have gone by, the pressures kept on rising, and I am excited to share what this month had brought me. As we go along, don't forget to give my video its well-deserved thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Three of twelve. March felt longer for me. This month is not anymore for the bar exam fever, though I'm still feeling it. Mm, it's more of my academics and work. For most portions, I will show you a glimpse of a special moment in my life as a law student. A first, and I must say, great lips of faith were taken just to survive it. Let me divide this vlog into three. With work, with academics, and with life. March was marked by Women's Month. It is annually celebrated in the university. As a coordinator for student affairs of our department, the dean made sure I was taking a great part at the events conducted, where our department was deeply involved. It was this month that I was able to visit the SWD for the first time and was deeply in awe of the happenings relative to women. We actually had a love drive and the Dean did not want to go to this event without my presence. I felt so involved and as a law student myself, the depth of my understanding as to the essence of one's life relative to abuses on women around us shifted many ways. I see a di different perspective, deeper than I normally knew back then when I knew less. This exposure, though short in time span, made me realize one thing, that women are women, and they are not plainly for childbearing or women works. They have a place where they shall be afforded respect because they're women, and that they can make a difference given the chance without actually stepping on others. Just let them be. Relatively, as a woman myself, it is a power in it in me to empower other women as well. More so, being a teacher, vlogger, and an educator, we can do more. I can do more if I want to. It all boils down to making a choice. Aside from taking part on that event, more plannings were made with the CTECSC's mayor, Al Prince. As you can see, our happy snaps here. We talked it over lunch. It was one great lunch where we had a long talk about stuffs. We made plans on how we will conduct the remaining events as the school year comes to an end. And you will see more on the other month's entry. For now, it's mostly planning. That's why these are only photos and the finished product will follow. For the first week of this month, I was busy reviewing for finals exam, finals for criminal procedure. Exam was on the 5th of March, and the week after, a final requirement was to be accomplished by us. It's known as the mock trial. Apart from balancing it with work as a teacher, nights were spent for readings and practices for the trial, and at times extended until dawn. I have grown deep fondness for this subject because the professor is so influential and she taught us with great passion. As a teacher myself, I can see that more than meets the eye. She always made sure we really understood the concept related to remedial law or specifically this, the criminal procedure. What I know now with respect to remedial law, I owe it to her. Such an inspiration. As you can see, more of my time lapse while studying is basically showcase and allow me to also share a portion of one of my golden recitations with her. Though this did not actually happen in March, but you know, I just want to share a moment with you how a typical online class would happen with her and um, no means of um, implying anything but just really an emphasis on how recitations are conducted. Next! Next student. Okay, no, Karil. Good afternoon, po. All right, so. Nandito pa lang tayo sa Supreme Court, ha? Huwag kayong pumunta sa iba. 
we are done with the incest falling within the original concurrent jurisdiction of the Supreme Court. Now, this is a very difficult question. Hmm? <laughs> ko kung makuha din yun. Can you tell me cases falling within the exclusive original jurisdiction of the Supreme Court? First, saan mo titignan ang answer? Miss Keno. Constitution po. All right. Anong specific provision? Uh, sa section 5 po of Article 8 of the Constitution. All right. One and two lang. Una, concurrent original. Number two, what? Exclusive appellate review. Reverse, revise, modify, or affirm on appeal or certiorari. That number two, the five cases enumerated are those cases within the exclusive appellate jurisdiction. Tama ka, Ms. Keno, because there is no case as what has been stated in the Constitution. When exams were over, our pressure did not end. It was now time to prepare for our mock trial. If you remember a photo from my February vlog where I had a meeting with my classmates, it was then a first step for the preps. Now it is all coming to reality. Our actual practice was only for a day and a half and uh, most of our talks and finalities were made online. Likewise, more and more and more finalities on the very day of the trial. I woke up at 3.30 a.m. for March 12 and I could not sleep well anymore. I had to also fix my own script and check all other stuffs for our group. I love my team. It always feels like we work for a common goal and not only for our own benefits. Here, I played as a judge for our criminal case. I had to rent a black toga or academic gown just to be in character and even borrow the gavel for the total acting of you know being a judge so i thank sir jonas sampang and sir bong salcedo for catering to my needs these are two great people in the college of law who would always be there when you need something um related to your course which is here in law school so when i needed something they were always there so thank you mga beshis On the day of the MAC trial, I could really feel the pressure. Imagine how I had to bring a printer just to cater any incidental stops needed by our group. It was an extraordinary experience overall. I never thought we would make it this far. It was funny, crazy, full of nerve-wracking moments and whatnot. So, Though this is only a first among the many, many, many mock trials we'll have or any practice court activities, I consider this a fruitful beginning. I also realized how two or more heads work better than one. Amazing how the team bagged so many awards. Of course, yours truly won Best Judge and other special awards were won by my groupmates. Let me show you here and here's a clip of what happened. Sorry for the bad angle though, not so vloggerish during those days. Court is now in session. Please be seated. All the case scheduled for pre trial conference. Appearances for prosecution and defense. What a day it was. How can I ever forget this? So, ladies and gentlemen, Judge Karil Keno appearing in this vlog, ready as always. Well, off with the ACAD and work spotlight, here are moments I have had outside the two lives I'm living. Still normal, but busier than February, I must say. For this portion, I must say what topped it was the memory of Jeric, one of my former English major babies who got sick and we had to send him back home to Bungyao after being admitted at the hospital. 
was a long drive for me since it was a first, but lots of moments were shared with Jerry, Glory Lee, and Joshua, and of course with Gray being our vehicle for, for that time. Basically, for this month, you know, there's so many firsts. I was scared to drive that far, though maybe to you who is listening to this vlog or watching this vlog now, it isn't that far, but I felt the far farness of that area since it's my first time. I'm surely gonna go back there. It's such a nice place. Also, I finally had a chance to eat at Joshua's Bachoy and funny because aside from Lori Lee who rode back to the city with me, Jeric's brother Joshua was with us. So like I had to tease him over and over if he owns it and that he was low-key owning that Bachoy house and whatnot. We were laughing back then and on our way back to the city, it was a very good chit-chat as well with the two. Lori Lee and Joshua. We talked about our love life, our career, and some life advices in total. Being a teacher and an ate to both of them, the regard they gave me was really heartfelt that day. It was a very good talk. How can I ever forget? And here guys, you could see other special events that happened. Busier but still not forgetting. To do play or happy times to keep my sanity intact. So yeah, that's for this month's content. And as a thought that would wrap everything up for March, hmm, I think it all points to valuing what matters. To live two lives as a teacher and a student is not that easy. But to value what matters to you so you can do and achieve your goals is a talent in itself. And I took essence of that for this month. That's one of the deepest realizations so far. Likewise, the moments we give and share to the people around us is something we can value because it deeply matters. So go for it. Make time and moments for those who matter to you. You know it for yourself anyway as to who or what matters and what does not. Choose wisely. Value what matters. Only then, you would appreciate more of life. Thank you for watching this vlog. I will see you on my next content and that will be for April. I wonder how you would feel for that vlog. Please feel free to share your comments in the section below and just leave a comment or leave a heart so that I know that you are here. Thank you!